Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Bedtime story. It is night time. Daddy Pig is reading Peppa and George a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. The bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. <laughs> George is awake. I saw. George, you naughty piggy. Go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. <laughs> George, night time is for sleeping, not playing. <laughs> I can tell you a bedtime story. <coughs> Once upon a time, there was a little pig. His name was Georgie Pig. <laughs> and he was off to make his fortune. Soon he came to a forest. Do you like the story, George? <coughs> Inside the forest was a little house. And inside the house was a bowl of porridge. <coughs> Georgie Pig was very hungry, so he ate it all up. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> but just as he finished, Baby Bear walked in and said, Oi, did you eat my magic porridge? Georgie said, Yes. Baby Bear said, that was magic porridge. It will make you go very big. And then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said, there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Grrr. Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrunk and he shrunk and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? Said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. And then it's the end. George is asleep. <coughs> Pepper is asleep. <coughs> Pepper, what are you doing out of bed? Night time is for sleeping, not playing. Night night, my little piggies. Sweet dreams. Pepper and George are in their little beds, fast asleep. And some great news. The new Peppa Pig 2012 annual is now available to buy at all good retailers. <laughs> Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Bedtime story. It is night time. 
Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George, a bedtime story. And so the prince, the princess, the budgie, and the frog all lived happily ever after. The end. The bedtime story has sent Pepper and George to sleep. Good night, my little piggies. <coughs> George is awake. I saw. George, you naughty piggy. Go back to sleep. George is not sleepy. George, night time is for sleeping, not playing. <laughs> I can 